Hi, this is Trevor Sheridan from AppAdvice.com. We've got another test between the iPad 2 and the iPad 1. This time, it's going to be about fast app switching or multitasking, however you want to call it. So we'll clear the multitasking tray and start launching up some apps and see how these two iPads handle it. The iPad 2 is on the left, iPad 1 is on the right. Now we can assume with the dual core processor, it will be faster, the iPad 2 will be faster, but the question is, by how much? Now for the test, both devices are running iOS 4.3 and I have multitasking gestures enabled to really see the difference in how quick the devices can switch between apps. Not only is this dependent upon the dual core process and the 512 megabytes of RAM, but it's also internet capabilities and how quick it can load a lot of internet information because a lot of these apps, most apps, are dependent on the internet. Now in our test, we're not using any special apps. They're pretty, uh, using the stock apps and pretty popular apps in the apps. Every single time you notice how much quicker the iPad 2 loads up an app as compared to the iPad. Each time you go into a new app, there's just a second longer hesitation before you can actually interact in with the app on the iPad as compared to the iPad 2. It seems as soon as you load into an app on the iPad 2, you are using the app. It's not really the case on the iPad 1. You don't notice it as much until you see the direct comparison with both devices side by side. Now we also tested home sharing. These devices are both sharing to the home, the same iTunes account and we can see that this is another internet based thing and the iPad 2 again beats the iPad 1 and loading it up. But that's not the real test here. The real test is to see how after connected to home sharing we can switch to another app and then switch back to the home sharing and see how it resumes. So now we're going to switch to Hulu Plus and start up a video to really try to bog down the two devices, or at least the iPad 1. Now we know the video will start loading quicker on the iPad 2, as we've seen from our Safari tests and other video-enabled tests. But now, let's switch back. As you can see, the iPad barely even recognizes the swipe because there's so much going on, and the video's already starting up on the iPad 2. This is where the dual-core processor and the more memory is actually provable and showable in real-world testing. Hope you enjoyed.